Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy, and welcome back to some Pokemon Coliseum, uh, where this could very well be the last livestream of this game that you see, because it's not been going well. Uh, if I bring the screen over, here is our team, you can see on the left hand side. Uh, we still have our starters, which is good, we still have Croconaw, which is good. Um, but last time... We... we lost Fluffy, and Fluffy was going to be kind of important to the run. Uh, and the Pokémon that we did pick up... Well, the tide is offensively fine, but a, a total glass cannon. Uh, and Yanba is... is Yanba. <laughs> yeah, rip Fluffy. Um, it was... that was entirely my fault and entirely preventable. Uh, welcome also to Skylord Zoe in the chat, it's nice to see you around. Boom Boom, lovely to see you. And to Rayfire, hi there! How's it going? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope, in particular, you're having a more wonderful day than I'm about to have <laughs> as we jump into this and quite possibly lose the game when we come up against the next admin fight. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so when we left off, we were underground uh, in the... Barbapedia refers to this as the sewers system. I'm not sure this is a sewer system. It's more like an underground reservoir, I guess. Uh... But yeah, this sort of weird little underground lake. Pyrite Town actually has way more water than Fanac City, this town which is famous for having water in the middle of the desert. So go figure, I guess. Uh, oh my goodness, let me see. I'm just opening up because I've got my little guide open on the left to try and <laughs> manage damage so that we don't lose too many more people. We've not got too much longer to go. Uh, but I can't remember quite where we got up to and who we fought. I believe we fought the Shadow Sword Blue. So up next we might have Ryder Derrett, possibly. Uh... I'm actually going to switch these two up, because we don't have too many peeps left now to fight. And we want to make sure we are on level for the big boss battle. Hi there, have I fought you? I'm going to assume that's a yes. Okay, up this way somewhere. Uh, you're a hunter. I think we fought you. I don't think we fought you. Let's assume that this is where we're going next, eh? Uh, oh, we have a scatterbrain Sophie in the chat. Welcome. How's it going? Hope you're also having a wonderful day. I'm under, under all this battle with you. Yes, okay, right. Jumping back in, more battles. This guy has a ghost, a bug, and a coughing. And the, uh, the Pineco is the one we really need to worry about because they can be self-destructors or exploders. They can be real bad news. We definitely don't want that. So, uh, Pineco we're gonna focus fire on first. Uh, a stray self-destruct here or there would absolutely end the run. <laughs> we're doing good. Sitting here now, the day just got better. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. You flatter, are you? Okay. Oh wow, actually that coughing nearly went down in one anyway. That's quite impressive. Aw, shucks you guys. Uh, okay. Gonna, I'm gonna confusion the coughing, even though we don't really need to, just because we need, we want to get it out of the way, because that can also be a self-destructor. Bye-bye. Umbreon ding. So Umbreon is now up to level. This might, if we're lucky, one shot. Yes, excellent news. Okay, I don't think we're, looking ahead, I don't think we're likely to have any particularly difficult battles before for the first boss fight. So it's going to be plain sailing and then we're going to hit the biggest, most horrible wall imaginable. 
<laughs> Basically. No one said anything about not losing. <laughs> that's that's my, been my approach so far. Uh, okay, okay. Now we can continue using Umbreon so long as it doesn't actually level up to level 36. Uh, and it might be worth doing that. Because if we could get a ding halfway through the admin fight, that would be great. I just want to check, see who's coming up. Uh, this one's probably not a terrible... Actually, hang on. Oh, I didn't know you could switch Pokemon for itself. Nope. Uh, I want to check how, how you're doing on Heart Gauge. You need more, you need more Heart Gauge down. And the next fight will be a good one to do that in. So, we will. I don't know what you're guarding, actually. Okay, there's two ways down. I don't know which is the correct way down. I'm sort of hoping one of them is going to have lots of goodies and items for me. Okay, that's... A chaser. That's not the person we're looking to fight next. Uh, you, Hunter Melly, you're the person we're looking to fight next. One day you're gonna win at the Colosseum. But yeah, I I'm sort of confused because, like, Mira B has all of these followers, and some of them have Shadow Pokemon, which means they've won at the Colosseum. And it's easy to see how they then became Mira B's followers. But I don't know how he attracted, like, the rest of them. Like, the population of this cave is significantly higher than the population of the nearby town. Anyway, yeah, so as you can see, Metatype really desperately needs to get some purification done, because, uh... Doesn't know any moves other than Shadow Rush and Carmite. Mirror B, why would he not have a bunch of fans? Good point, good point. Right. Well, Noon is the threat of this party, if there is one. Okay, Headbutt is kind of fine for now. We can afford to call Meditite, I'm pretty sure. I want to get Lunin off the field as quickly as possible, ideally. Because Sixagoon we can sort of deal with. This is like the eighth Sixagoon we fought by this point. <laughs> oh, excellent! A confused prop? Ah, sweet! Amazing! Wonderful! It literally couldn't have gone better. Okay, okay. Uh, we might need to bring Medatite off the field again. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, bring out Krognor. Because Krognor in particular won't be much use in the coming admin fight. Uh... Mirabi has an interesting team. A very thematic team. Like, the team is definitely part of why everyone adores Mirabi as a character, definitely. Um, but it, it's a team that specifically won't be very good for Crocodile. The upside is... If... Uh... One sec while my brain catches up. If Crocodile survives this, if anyone survives this, we are super close to unlocking purification. Your confidence took a hit? Oh, boohoo, poor you. My Metatite took a hit. Now I gotta go back and heal them. Is it this place that's bad for my training? Uh, I don't know, this place has given me plenty of good training. Just gonna make a run all the way back to the healing machine. A 
Okay, I want to have a look down those stairs because that might be where the goodies are. It's quite a distance sometimes you have to go to get back to the most recent healing machine. At least we don't have to go all the way out of the cave though. Drop a save while we're here. Okie doke. Right. So what's done these ones? This place is like a little bit of a maze, but it's not a lot of a maze. Right, so that's where we just were, down there. Oh, okay, this bridge is out of order. That kind of looks like the way on, which is weird because I thought the way past the chaser was the way on. What? What's going on here? <laughs> I don't remember the map of this place at all! <laughs> it's okay, the chaser is the person we're fighting next. And somewhere around there's a way, there's like a an island down in the sewer level that's full of goodie boxes. I thought it was down there. Uh, I'm just thinking... Probably want Umbreon up front. <laughs> At least be five chasers. Hello! Am I looking for the Pokemon? Could it be beyond here? Maybe? I don't know anymore! I have Natu, Tentacle lead, that's fine. The Natu is quote unquote the threat to Metatite, which is why we have Umbreon out front. Uh, so we can just uh, take that out as quickly as possible. Metatite, I love you, but you are risking everything every time you do that. I hope you know. Okay, Tedious, sir. Uh... Tensa can be a little tough. I'm not expecting it to be here. Ooh, wow. That, uh... That really chugged. The old hypothetical GameCube. Okay, we'll give you a call. I'm more worried about the Teddy Earth than I am about the Tentacle. We'll see if that was a good decision or not. Okay, Umbreon can tank most things, so that's fine. Leer... Uh... Leer isn't great, but so long as we can... Oh, we have Confusion now! That's great news! So long as we can kill Teddy Earth with this fight, which theoretically we ought to. Yeah, okay. So I don't think having my defense lowered is too much of a problem. Uh, and we have a Shaska in the chat, welcome! Have I locked the Nuz yet? Uh, no, but but the Nuz might be locking up in sort of two battles time. Uh, that could well be the end of everything. Oh, Rap? Oh, that's not good news. Okay, Rap is on Umbreon. That's much better news. Rap on Metatite would be bad. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep fighting it. I think a bite confusion should kill this, right? The end of everything you haven't finished your restaurant in Minecraft yet. I don't. I, okay. The end of this world, not the end of your Minecraft world, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's funny you should say that because that is how Mirror B intends to do most of his damage. It'll all be psychic damage from 
dancing and singing. Do people have any sense of direction? No, actually, I don't. I have a famously poor sense of direction. No, the real world should be fine. Probably. Uh, who have we got up next? Uh, Medatite's so frail. I... Mm, okay, hang on. I'll be prepared to switch out Medatite at a moment's notice. Right there. The edge of the world! Good of me to come, blimey! That's drastic! Okay, Sphere Lily is fine. Even though I could go sh Shadow Rush and try and get into Hyper Mode, I'm not going to with Metatite. Because I, I don't want to risk losing a turn. Oh, that's not going to be enough to kill it, that's annoying. Ah, oh, we have confused it though, that's good news. Okie doke. Growl, Growl is fine. We don't mind Growl at all. I should actually check which which of Metatite's attacking stats is better. I'm assuming it's physical attack. Constrict? Constrict is okay, right? That doesn't stop me switching out if I need to. Uh, we're gonna do this. Oh no, we're not gonna do the same thing. We're gonna confusion the spiel. Kill the Lily. What comes out after the Lily is gonna be a Dust Ox. You love the animation of the Lilip? I also love the animation of the Lilip. I A lot of the animations in this game are really characterful, and I, I adore them to pieces. Like, look at that happy little spiel there, just like, bouncing along. Isn't that great too? I love them all, they're all my babies. Some of the Pokémon that, like, uh, don't uh, appear in this game in the normal story mode have less interesting animations, particularly because a lot of those animations are ported over from Pokemon Stadium. Uh, okay, Metatite, you're going back. Uh, I guess we'll bring out Croconaw for the Water Gun Resist. Actually, at this point, we might as well bring out Umbreon. He's not going to ding. And we should be able to one-shot the Dustox, hopefully. I hope he's not gonna ding. Oh, we didn't one shot the dust ox. Disaster. You also have a shiny Lily slash Gridley Pokemon Go. Caught the same day as a shiny Alarith. That's really cool. Oh, Aurora being blimey. Seal's got the moves. I think we should be able to finish the dust ox off with a swift. We'll do this to get a little bit of damage on Sveal as well. There we go. And then chomp. Nom. Okay. Sveal's nearly dead. Ow. Take one more hit, but according to Bulbapedia, there aren't any trainers left in this area. So we should be good to just have a little wander for now. Interestingly, Seema here is one of the very few, like, actual Cypher peons that work for Mirror B. Everyone else tends to have quite a few of them. But, uh, he's just got the one. I think he's just got the one. I can't remember any others. Oh, he's got the, uh, the, the... Color trio, actually. There's no flu coming to come out here? No, well, sort of. <laughs> you have a touch shaking when you talk. It's gonna be your starting point if you start decide to start streaming. Oh yeah, uh, that's a so that's a cool feature of um, Gazotube. 
Uh, so GazerTube is the PNG Tuber software I use. There's like really two PNG Tuber softwares out there. One is VidoTube, which is made by not nice people. Uh, and their terms of service contain some questionable things. Let's put it that way. Uh, but GazerTube is also like free to use. It doesn't have quite as many features. But uh, if you if you speak loudly, which I do, and talk animatedly, which I do, uh, it, it's got this. It's got like three stages. It's got mouth closed, ping, mouth open, ping, and then talking really happily, excitedly, shaking a avatar, ping, uh, which is quite cool. Yes, and boom boom is is correct with the spelling. Thank you for that. I'll also, as you enjoy. My little PNG tuber, uh, the uh, exclamation mark art command. Just because, wait, how's this the first t time you're hearing things about VidaTube? Because most people don't read the terms and conditions. Uh, that's how. Like, I only know about it because. So, so the VidaTube terms and conditions. Uh, put them in the camp of the what's called anti antis uh, But they basically they say that if you support shipping in media, they accuse you of some very nasty things. And like almost everyone online supports shipping in media. Uh, sorry, they're not anti antis. They're antis. I know about them because. I used to follow a community of people, so, of so-called anti-antis, who used to like track and pay attention to people who called themselves antis. It's a whole thing. <laughs> what are the antis? So antis are people who believe that shipping in fandom is wrong because some people ship things which they consider to be pub problematic in air quotes so because some people ship like siblings or teacher student or whatever they've decided that all shipping is evil and all people who support shipping are themselves guilty of everything that has ever been written in a fic <laughs> like like fiction Can I save, please? Thank you, game. Uh, okay, so now we need to work out how our team is going to look for the final fight, and I think it pretty much has to be Espion Umbreon lead. I don't think we're going to do this without Espion and Umbreon being at the lead. Oh, I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous about this. Okay, here we go. Now, so there is one, one bright spark, one small beacon of hope in the upcoming battle, and that is, according to Pokemon Coliseum, this, this area of the cave that we're about to enter is a new area, separate to the cave that we've been in all this time. Which means this next battle is going to be an encounter where we can catch a Shadow Pokémon. That's not going to make our lives any easier, however. In fact, it might even make them harder. Anya. Okay, hello. Hi! I have to do the voice, don't I? I'm too ill to do the voice. <clears throat> yeah, oh, oh god, no, that was not the voice at all. Uh, huh. It's about time, darlings. I'm so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Stop the music. Oh, you kept me waiting for so long. I decided to work up a little perspiration. <laughs> but my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was oh so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man. And so, 
There's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. This might actually be our grand finale, gang, just so you know. Let the music play! He only stopped the music for like two minutes. But he has his own battle theme. And he has lots of Ludicolos, who we just saw dancing around the area. Now, these guys... These guys are pretty tanky. Uh, like, like Ludicolo is, 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 is a, a bit chonky, and it doesn't help that both of our best fighters, in fact all of our best fighters really, are special attackers, and I think Ludicolo is more specially tanky than it is physically tanky. Uh, I don't know which Ludicolos are which. Hang on, I have a list of their movesets, because they don't all have the same moveset. So the level 29 Ludicolo doesn't have anything that we need to be too worried about. The level 31 Ludicolo has Mega Drain, Leap Seed, and Surf. So we need to get rid of that one. Pronto. I think... So M Mirror B has good AI. And I think his good AI will mean that the Ludicolos try and use Rain Dance on turn 1. But this one might try and use Leech Seed. Leech Seed will spoil our day. Okay, that's good news. Yeah, so they both try and use Rain Dance, which is bad for him. But... Uh, in addition to them being quite tanky, you see they took two attacks from Pokémon much higher level than them, but no problem there. They also now have Rain Dish. And, and and they heal as well, and it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a real fight. Okay, this one's got astonish. Luckily, he used it on Umbreon, but unluckily, that might make Umbreon flinch. Ah, that's bad news. Oh, that's disaster. That's a total disaster, okay. Leech Seed is real bad news. Because Leech Seed and Rain Dish keeping this thing alive? That's really bad. I think that's still within kill range for confusion. So I think, like, this one's now no longer a threat. But the Leech Seed will persist. I don't even know if we can switch out when we're Leech Seeded, actually. I'm going to quickly Google that, because that'll be very important to find out. Uh, seeding. Volatile status condition. Uh, effect. Do do do. Impasses of all of Pokemon, blah 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 blah. Okay, I don't think it stops me from switching out, so that's good. Right, we now have the level 30 Ludicolo. Level 30 Ludicolo also knows Mega Drain. Uh, and yeah, be because he's got the smart AI, he can target his attacks better, so he can gang up on my, for example, Espeon. I was really tempted, actually, because there is a glitch that exists in Pokémon Colosseum. It's not exactly a glitch, it's like... There's a functionality that the game is... you would expect to have, and I think that other Pokémon games have that this one doesn't have. Where, in this game, you can't use an X item on a Pokémon... Uh, you, you can't... so if I'm... Taking Umbreon's turn, I can take Umbreon's turn to use a healing item on Espeon, but I can't use Umbreon's turn to use a healing item to use an X item on Espeon. Except there's a bug that means you can uh, 
use Umbreon's turn to use an next item on Espeon. And even though I don't particularly fancy X items as a rule, I was very strongly considering using that bug this turn, this this uh, this battle to try and help me live. I'm gonna try and avoid it. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough. This whole fight is gonna be so rough. Okay, that's really helped though. That's really good news. I hope. Oh, please don't flinch again, Umbreon. Please don't flinch. Yes. Okay, that was a really lucky crit. <laughs> okay, we've now got the two Mega Drain Ludicolos off the field, which is good news. Do it? Ah, well, BC, because I decided not to do it, I haven't purchased any X items. <laughs> Espeon. Ah, see here, now we come to the problem of Espeon's gonna need heals. Which means we need to use Umbreon's turn for healing. Uh, no, I don't wanna switch you out. I should have stocked up on more super potions. I especially should have stocked up on more great ones before the fight. I did not, because I'm a fool. I'm gonna heal you up. Uh, there is nothing that the level 29 Ludicolo has that is worse than what the level 28 Ludicolo has. So we're gonna leave the level 29 Ludicolo out. Now luckily these two don't have Brain dish anymore, but they do have Swift Swim, which is why this one keeps outspeeding Umbreon. Yeah, Razor Leaf is a is a move I'm slightly worried about. Okay, but the other move this the level 28 one has is Ice Beam. Okay, the end of rain is great news. The end of rain is really good news, because it means we outspeed them this round. Given that Espeon's not too hurt, and there's a possibility that uh, he might be rain dancing again, we're gonna go for the double attack, try and get this Ludicolo down. Now, of course, when the Ludicolo goes down, we then have to contend with Mirabee's Shadow Pokemon! Okay, Umbreon's ding. That's great news. Umbreon wants to learn Fate Attack. Now, the thing about Fate Attack is, it's not particularly better than Bite. Like, it's the same base power, it just has a different effect. Normally, I would teach it Fate Attack over Taunt. But... There are battles coming up where actually Taunt might be useful to us. Particularly with uh, enemies that have a, a Protect Earthquake strat. Getting rid of the Protect in that strat might be really useful. So I'm probably going to not grab Taunt. Uh, not grab Faint Attack. Will that prove to be a mistake? We'll find out later. Yes, here is Sudowoo though. The only odd one out for Mirabee's team. And that's because it's a shadow. Okay, so you are using Rain Dance as predicted. Now, the bringing out of Sudowoo though gives us another problem. Because this Sudowoo though knows low kick. Which might be strong enough to kill Umbreon, I don't know. I'd really like to leave Umbreon out and use Bite to attack the Ludicolo if I can. The question is, am I? Uh, it also knows Rock Slide. I'm just checking if Rock Slide. So Rock Slide is a double hit move, which means it won't be super powerful if he uses that. But I imagine his AI will be good enough to force him to use Low Kick. Hmm. Uh, 
I see the widow with 100% of its HP. I'm just uh, double checking, so I got my little calculator. If I were to just throw a great ball now, I have a 14% chance of catching it, which is not great. If I leave Umbreon out, it might die. Is the only problem. Uh. But the other thing is, no one else is really great on the field right now. My streams are simultaneously exciting and soothing. Oh, well, thanks for that. <laughs> um, I'm currently terrified. I'm worried I'm just about to make a horrendous decision. But we're committing to it. It's called the Nuzlocke stream of many mistakes. So if we make a mistake, that's in keeping. Okay, that's not great. Ludicolo's down, which is great, because now it's two on one. We are... We are in a bit of a pickle if that Tsudawo decides to use Shadow Rush, though. Okay, Rock Slide is fine. Rock Slide is fine. Probably. Oh, that's still quite a lot of damage! Oh, thank god! Okay! <laughs> that's really good news. Ah, oh, Espeon is still seated. Uh... Okay, I might do- I'm gonna do a double heal here. I des definitely also should have bought some Hyper Potions. Oh, I do have some Hyper Potions. Excellent. I know it's a, it's a big waste of a Hyper Potion, but like, it brings me up to full health. I needed that! Okay, might just have to take Espeon off the field, actually. Because I don't know if... Like, having the seeding going on... Uh, there's no one I really want to bring out, but I'm going to bring out Croconaw, who's probably the, the bulkiest. And Croconaw might be able to finish off the pseudo-odo if things get to a sort of a point where I might lose someone. Oh, that did not do very much damage. Okay, flinching is good though. I reckon we can double bite this. Which is great, because it means we have twice as much chance for it to flinch. I don't think a crit bite from Croconaw will kill? I hope a crit bite from Crooked does not kill. No, it's fine. A crit bite would have been totally fine. Okay, excellent. Flinching. We've got him down fairly low. I'm going to guesstimate he's at about a third health, which means we have a 1 in 3 chance of catch with each ball. Uh, what moves do we have? Hang on a sec. He has block, which we don't... Yeah, so much about him using. I don't really want to confuse him. So, Umbreon, you're gonna ball. I'm fairly confident that we can't double ball him. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Uh, so, Crocodile, you're gonna scary face. As it doesn't do any damage, we can just use that sort of endlessly. Everyone hold your breath. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Shadow Rush. That's probably okay for now. We're gonna do the same thing again. Oh, okay. Like, at the very least, we've won the fight. That's important. We're not gonna lose. I was worried we would lose. I remember the Mirror B fight being a lot tougher than this. We got one or two lucky crits. A lucky miss. Yes! 
Okay. <sighs> we win! I can't keep up with the tempo. Oh no, no, what a no! I didn't see what he said at the end of that, but oh no, no, what a no is quite a line. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and you can see, it's over, Mirabi. I have the high ground! <laughs> I've, I've knocked him off of his platform. Oh, okay, everyone breathe. Everyone breathe. <laughs> oh, uh, while I'm breathing, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, add to the word to my little team list. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Where are you, Pseudo Widow? Where is your little sprite? Oh. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, saves. Now where's OBS? It's uh, around here somewhere. There we go. See the widow. Add it to our team. Oh, no one died. <laughs> Oh my gosh, alright, so what's Mirabi up to? <clears> how, <throat> oh, how, how dare you! Don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage. One of these days I will take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant dance steps. That is the least threatening threat imaginable. Oh, and I'm not giving up on our shadow Pokemon plan. Let's go, escape! And then he Naruto runs. He Naruto ran before it was cool. He Naruto ran so that Naruto could Naruto walk. Uh, and yes, Duking's Plusle is is behind the door. Also, he's handily left us this uh, box of stuff. A TM49. I don't know what that is. What is that? Snatch! What a useless move! <laughs> it's a very useful move in certain circumstances. But uh, not a very useful move for us right now. And here is Plusle. Hi, Plusle. Kin kin. Dizzy, you're safe. Oh, and Plusle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boom boom. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Mira B go the way, but things will get back to normal here. Duking, I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silver. You were useless. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it all turned out okay anyway. Even that Mira has been driven out thanks to Dizzy. Feeling hungry out of relief. I mean, I also am feeling hungry out of relief, actually, and thirsty. I'm gonna. Let's quit this moldy cavern. No, don't quit the moldy cavern. I've got. No, I didn't pick up all the stuff! There were goodies on the floor, Duke King! Goodies! Now I'm gonna have to go back and get them! Duke King! Ugh, we owe you a great deal. You owe me two items that were lying around on the floor, is what you owe me. If even a bit later, plus I could have made a shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. Oh my god, that thing jumps so high! What's the matter, Plusle? You want to. Okay, I understand. Dizzy, could you take my Plusle with you? Plusle is saying it wants to help you too. That's right, you can't let those criminals get away with it. <laughs> We've got a cute and brave addition to our party. I mean, we do. He is cute. And he is brave. We popped him in the, in the PC. I intend to investigate the organization behind Mirror B. As soon as I discover anything, I'll be in touch. Which reminds me, I need your PDA number! I'll be in touch as soon as we discover anything. Awesome. So yeah, we now have not just one bonus Pokémon, but two new Pokémon! Uh, plus, there's not joining the team yet. Now, hmm, here's the thing. Uh, We lost Flaffy, right? We lost Flaffy last stream. In fact, I actually meant to put Flaffy's icon up on the stream. 
uh, to show that it was like in the death box, but uh, we didn't we didn't we didn't manage to do that off stream, and I'm not gonna try and muck around doing it now. But yeah, so Fluffy, we lost. We have now just been granted a new electric type. It's not great. Bustle is is not strong. It's not resilient, particularly. It's not a good Flaffy replacement. The question is... We've got some encounters coming up that would be really nice to have Paralysis for. Is it worth trying to use Plusl and probably losing it? To try and secure that Paralysis? Like, uh, make no mistakes, it would almost certainly be a sacrifice of Plusle to use it. Is it worth sacrificing Plusle for that slightly better catch rate chance? It's something we've got to think about. Uh, deep beneath this town is another town that goes by the name The Under. Merabee's mob may have been smuggling Shadow Pokemon in from there. I'm going to do a little digging. <laughs> says MS Paint Crucifix and a flappy PNG on the right hand side. <laughs> oh dear! I mean, if I'd had time to do like art and stuff before the stream, like I did for my Pokemon X's, uh, like, don't, do not doubt, Meditite's art would have been sitting on top of the body of Flaffy. Flaffy would have featured, just not kindly. Please be nice to Plusle. Well, we're considering sort of sacrificing it. But other than that, we'll be nice to it. We have to move quickly, gather information, sure. Uh, what do the people in the cave have to say? Are we going to need plus later? Are we giving it back? I don't believe we actually can give it back. I think plus is ours in perpetuity now. Hello! It's you guys. Didn't tell you my name yet. I'm Marcia's friend, Sek. I'm glad we met. Trying to get in touch with kids in other towns to gather information. This is the age of networking. Yes, this was the early 2000s. Where children on the internet could just, like, bring down criminal organizations. Do you know the kids' groups? No. They're going to make it and talk over it. Sex said they are. Yes, Pokemon Coliseum invented social media. Awesome, big guy. You went and knocked out Mirror B while I was on lookout duty. Thank you, big guy. I'm going to knock out Mirror B too. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have ambition. Okie doke. Uh, I don't know where the game wants us to go next. I know where I want to go next. I don't know where the game wants us to go next. Uh, but I... Oh, we got a, we got a full heal for free. The game sometimes does that and doesn't tell you. I really hope I don't have to fight the lady in here again. Because she's going to be stronger next time I have to fight her. Uh... Or be the criminal organizations like in a hotel. Uh, let's have a look at rematches. Okay, she will be tough if we have to rematch her. I don't think we do. I don't know why I just healed when I explicitly just had a look and said we just got a free full heal. But I did it anyway. Uh, yeah, so if you have a look at, at Lil Plusle, Plusle is only level 13. <laughs> Using Plusle would be difficult. Uh, anyway, I do have to go through this whole building again to go back to the cave. So I can bloom and grab the two things that are on the floor there. Grumble, grumble. Do, do, do. If I thought about it, I wouldn't have spoken to Blossom. I would have just grabbed them first, but I didn't think about it. Because I'm not very bright. Do, 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 do. We all can listen to the spooky music for a little while. Do, do, do. 
dun 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 uh, I think it's down and along I, I I must admit it's quite clever how they've done the area so that actually there's lots of encounters you don't notice that only three of them are compulsory and those happen to be the three that have shadow pokemon i think that's quite clever oh you're here already are you oh okay we don't want to talk to that guy he's real bad news he will muck us up. Uh, anyway, we found an Ian file. Ian file P. Purification of Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon are fighting machines. The process of restoring a Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon back to its original state is known as purification. Exactly how Shadow Pokemon is purified is unclear. There appear to be several causes. We must eliminate reaction to these factors, factors and create Shadow Pokemon that will never revert back to their purified forms. So yeah, that's the next step in our journey, is figuring out how to do this purification. You can also grab a Macho Brace. What the hell does a Macho Brace do? Promotes growth, reduces speed. I think, so I think that's basically like an EV boosting item. It might be interesting to actually have. If we have a Pokemon that's slow already. Or if we have a Pokemon like Yanma. Sooner Widow. You've got an item. What item do you have? Hang on. You have a Hearthstone. Okay, that's not bad. You have a Twisted Spoon, which is also pretty good. We give it to Yanma, because Yanma has speed boost anyway. Like, Yanma's speed mostly doesn't come from its speed stat. It comes from... Getting a plus one to speed at the end of every turn. So we give you that to you. We might get you some EVs. Not that we're planning to use Yanma super much once we have anything better, but until then, we might not have much choice. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to go back. I think it's this way. Yes. Okay. I might have to look at the guide just to figure out how to how to get to the next area. Ah, okay, we have to try and leave Pirate Town, that's cool. That's the next step. Yeah, sometimes the like triggers for what you have to do in to, to progress the story are a little bit obscure. Uh, I think it's this way. There we go. Look. In the house. Down the stairs. And down the shortcut left. And then through the one-way door. I I must admit, if I was making this building, I wouldn't have made a one-way door. But I'm not an interior designer, so what do I know? Alright, we got the goods. Uh, I want to check out the prison before we leave. Oh, I also probably want to stock back up on items. Because we just used a fair few. I probably don't need another Hyper Potion just yet. I'll grab another two Super Potions just so we have a nice round number. I don't think we use anything like this. Oh, I have, an, I have a Revive that I can sell. Sell. Revive. And, seeing as we have some Vitamins... Well, 
also use those. So what do we have? We have an iron raises defense, protein raises attack, Carlos raises speed. I'm gonna give that to Umbreon. Uh, do we have any others? No, okay. Uh, uh, who needs more defense? Crocodile would like more defense. And more attack. I think we'll give to Sula Widow. There we go. Uh, and I also want to go and buy some more Pokeballs, which is fine, because that'll happen on the way out. Hello! This is Fatine, the mother of Pyrite, and Fortune Teller. You can tell she's a Fortune Teller because she has a crystal ball on the end of her walking stick. I might be mentioning it, but the town's air feels somewhat less dirty. But not all is well. I can feel the pence of black auras coming from Shadow Pokemon. So can, uh, so can Rui. Does, Rui, does that mean you're going to grow up and be a fortune teller? <laughs> wow, nothing escapes your notice! Amazing. The key to freeing Pokemon from the Black Ore, it's in the north. It's where my grandpa lives. Oh no, I forgot, I was on my way to visit grandpa before I was kidnapped! He's going to be so cross with me for being late because I was kidnapped? This is an agate village. That may be no mere coincidence. Your answer may be there. My grandpa was a famous trainer when he was younger. Maybe my grandpa would know something. Let's go and see him. Sure. Do you have anything else to say? No, okay. That's fine. Oh, I wanted to visit the, the police station. Uh, at some point, there's an item you can pick up from here. Oh, hello. Got a little cutscene. Sorry, Chief, but there's big news. Mira Bean and his underlings have left the town. You're not the Chief. That story isn't you. I've heard about it over and over already. Such a killer. Yeah, so these two, they have their own, like, little thing going on. Uh, which is quite amusing. Ah. Yes! Okay, we found the jail key. Amazing. Mira Bean left town? Are you kidding? You can tell us obvious lies, we're still not going to leave this safe place. Yeah, these guys, even once we let them out, are still going to stay in prison. Uh, but also, we do now have the ability to let all of the prisoners out if we want. <laughs> Which we will use incredibly responsibly. Oh wow, thanks, you're letting us loose? I don't know who or care who you are, but thanks, see you! <laughs> oh, I love that! Um, but he leaves behind a TM. I didn't know he left behind a TM, I don't know what the TM is. TM46 Thief! How, how, what power is, what base power is Thief? Space power 60? Honestly... Oh, Espeon and Umbreon can't learn Thief? That's tragic. I was like, Espeon would do really well with Thief. Give it a dark move. Use it special attack. Has a chance of giving us a cool item. Also, also, while I'm thinking about items, why do you have a Twisted Spoon? when you could have the Twisted Spoon. Also, I have a Zinc that I never used. What does the Zinc do? There's a special defense. Umbreon, enjoy. There we go, okay. Right, we got some stuff. Let's drop a save. Grab a few more balls. Uh, I'm going to have a look at the next encounter we have coming up. See if it's worth grabbing any more Pokeballs.
the answer is probably not. It's probably Great Balls only from here on out. Which is fine. Like, they're expensive, but it's fine. Uh, and you'll see Pirate Town's description has now changed. It's now an honourable town of thugs and scoundrels. Where Pokemon were once distributed, but no longer. Uh, we can also visit Fanac on the way. There might be something up at the Mayor's house. I don't know. We can also fight Justy, but we're not going to because he will wreck us. <laughs> he will game over us. Uh... Hey, Mr. Mayor, are you in? Hello. So glad to see you're safe. I thought for news you two have been very busy. Continue with our investigation. Wonderful. And we have more news. Da -ba -da -ba. Breaking news! Mirror B, the brutal crime lord of Pirate Town, has been driven out. Reports claim that two young people were behind Mirror B's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are unknown. Thanks to their heroic work, Pirate Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Oh yeah, we're on the news. We're famous! Famous, I tell you! Pokeball shop. Ba, 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 ba. Can we rematch this guy? I don't think we can. Uh... Oh, we can rematch him. Oh, okay. Uh... Sure. Let's give on our two newest shadows a run. Hey! Just the guy I wanted to see! I had the have to have another Pokemon battle with you. It's driving me wonky. <laughs> Let's battle, okay? I didn't I I never intended to drive you wonky. You start driving Willy Wonky, and sooner or later you're gonna have a chocolate factory on your hands. Oop, right. So, you're gonna Shadow Rush, and you're gonna. Conf you might Shadow Rush as well, actually. Hyper mode is fine, I guess. Oh, pin missile's not great news. Okay, pin missile on Sudowoodo is kind of fine. Four hits isn't great, but Sudowoodo's tanky. And fairly offensively capable as well, actually. Finish that off. You get a call. Okay, pin missile again. Uh, that's fine. Okay, three times isn't so bad. No, the slate is fine. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Boom Boom. Ah, oh, we now have High Jump Kick, the most dangerous move, which we're not going to use because we want our Meta Type to live. Secret Power? Okay, secret power and say the weather is fine. Okay, Nether Tight left the battle in hyper mode, that's probably fine. The next couple battles we have coming up aren't a big deal. Bum 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 bum. We defeated Ride the Willy! Yep! We wrecked you. We wrecked you with two completely different Pokémon this time as well. <laughs> You're tough. Real tough. You stumped us good. Honestly, you would have had a difficult time even fighting, like, relatively early game Espeon and Umbreon, mate. 
Never mind all the shadows I've got. Uh, hello there. That's a pal, if you're intending to travel some more, you might want to stock up on supplies. Yes, please give me great balls, because you still don't have ultra balls for me. So the window looks so long, but then he's just so small. I, I, I find it weird how he managed to successfully pass for a tree in in Gen Two. Like, like yes, he looks a bit tree-like, but he was blocking a road, and he's like, he's up to my shoulder the best. Do I want more than that? I might want more than that actually. We got a tough encounter coming up. I actually might want more super potions and hyper potions. Actually, I know. I know. I said, "Oh, I'll, I'll be good to be fine." Actually, uh, I'm also gonna. Okay, the guy. Uh, so the guy who we saw but didn't engage with. We'll need to fight him before the next boss, but otherwise should be fine. Let's go to Agate Village. Heading off to the north. The places we've never been before. And isn't it pretty? It's like full of water and green. That never happens. This is where my grandpa and grandma live. The air tastes a lot different here. It's been so long. Get going, I bet they're worried about me not getting here. You would think, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would certainly think that. Hang on, I gotta have a drink. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna have a look, check if there are trainers here. Because I actually don't know if there are in this game? Yes, there are, okay. Right, not you though. Welcome to Agate Village, home to trainers who are once considered experts and of course they're Pokemon. I think it's a little too early for you to settle here. <laughs> yeah, it's a retirement village basically. Ah, uh, but it's a nice place. This person has a Torchic, a Sundere Torchic. You're Egon's granddaughter. I don't think that he's been telling everyone that you're coming for a visit. And Agate Village has a few hidden spaces, which is quite cool. Uh, so it has this little cave back here. The cave ambiance is very pretty. Everyone <laughs> wears sandals here, no trainers. Oh, two Ultra Balls! That's going to be handy down the line. Because we can't buy Ultra Balls, like, every Ultra Ball we can find is a really good get. And they have a Pokemon Center with a wooden Pokeball on top to match Fennac's, like, glowy holographic Pokeball. Yes, I would like some heals, please. Right, progress saved. Never neglect checking the health of my Pokémon! Oh, my back. Seems that I should be the one getting my health checked. Well, we can probably put you on one of these, like, Pokémon healing stoves as well, if you like. It might cook you instead of healing you, I don't know. I don't know how they work. Came to tap the knowledge of the villagers. Even though they're retired, they were all great trainers. Is that, like, a requirement of living here? You have to be a former great trainer? Oh, I didn't need to go down here. Anyway, there's this guy stood in front of a cave. The entrance to the Relic Forest. They say that Celebi visits the forest. 
No one except the villagers are allowed through. If you're sightseeing, please do it elsewhere. Now, because it's a Pokemon game, you can tell. A cave with a guy standing outside it saying you're not allowed in is definitely going to be relevant later. Uh, here's a little sneaky path. Grab Ooh, a quick claw. Ooh. Umbreon, do you have an item? You do not. Umbreon. Have a quick claw. Given that your main attack is bite, a quick claw could allow you to outspeed stuff and get in a flinch where you wouldn't otherwise, which is really good. Incidentally, this is a hell of a slope that we walk up and down to get there. Is there anything behind here? No, I don't think there is. Okay. Uh, we're going to explore like the whole town and then go and see her grandfather. Because that's the way I like to do video games. Is it Rui? It's been too long. No, it's not Rui. <laughs> She's down there. That young man, your boyfriend. Now you're back, you came to introduce your boyfriend to Egan, oh Jesus. Ah, well, Boom Boom. Hmm. Uh, well, Rui, I should introduce my boyfriend to you. My boyfriend is the mighty the here! <laughs> um, okay. I think we might have a slight Twitch TOS breach, but that's, that's fine. Uh, if we go behind this house... We can go and talk to this guy. I think he has stuff for us. Hi there, do you, do you have things for me? My tailor brings me berries from somewhere every day. I'll share one with you. Oran berry. Sweet. Free healing. Free healing that we can actually give to people. I'm tempted to give it to Meditite. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, and this is a very important place because this is the Name Rater, the fortune teller of names. Now, as you all know, it's a rule of Nuzlocke that you always have to nickname Pokémon. Uh, we can't nickname a Pokémon while it's still a shadow, but our Espeon and Umbreon have been desperately lacking in names all this time. So we need to we need to name Espeon and Umbreon. Uh, and I've been sort of thinking about this moment for a while. And the conclusion I came to is I have no idea what I want to nickname my Espeon and Umbreon. Uh, <laughs> um, so if people are around in chat and want to have some starter Pokemon named after them. Boom, boom, yes, you, you dibs Croconaw, so you are going to get uh, a Croconaw named after you. But if anyone else wants a, a Pokemon named after them, speak now. Uh, because otherwise I have to use my brain and think of good names, and that's a thing I'm really bad at. Uh, uh, what does Espeon do? It uses psychic attacks a lot. And it's like, uh, our team's best killer? Uh... I could make a reference to something, but I don't I don't know any good things to make references to. Uh call it call it Yuri Jella. Jella. I don't know who that is. I've heard the name before, but I don't know who it is. I'll Google it. I don't think I'm gonna call it call it that, but uh Israeli British illusionist, magician, television personality, and self proclaimed psychic. Oh that guy! Oh god. He got Alakazam bad. Oh, that guy! Ugh. God, definitely no. I tell you what, I will, I'll name it after a better magician. No. <laughs> I don't want that. Wrong button. That button. There we go. There we go. If you don't know who Dino is, he's a British TV magician. He's great. His, his show's great. There's this name's Luckiness goes right off the scale. Okay. Uh, we also need to nickname Umbreon. Umbreon's chief feature is that it bites everything. Uh, so, I mean, honestly, we could just name it Dizzy and be done with it. <laughs> um, uh, 
I think we're going to call me Tooth. There we go. It's a better name than before. I'm not sure it is. But we've locked it in. <laughs> might break the save. I think my character's called Dis rather than. No, I am called Dizzy. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh no! You know what I should call them? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. If I'm called Dizzy, I could call them Dis and Four Demise. Although we have already given them nicknames, so we might have to leave that. Well, we maybe we'll leave that for another time. Uh, yes. Yeah, so important things. Pokemon named. This is her grandpa's house, so we're not going in there just yet. But we are going to go around the back. Yeah, yeah, her grandpa lives under this giant tree, which it's an interesting place to put a house. The estate agent must have had a panic when they first saw that that they had to sell. Oh, the experience share! Oh, I didn't know we got that. Hmm. Uh, anyway, here is the Pokemon. We're gonna go inside and check what they have for sale. I'm hoping they'll have some potions and stuff for sale. They do, fantastic. They also have vitamins, which are quite expensive, and they have these things which are called scents. We can't, I think, buy the scents yet. Uh, I'm not really planning to use them. Uh, when we find out what they do, I'll, like, explain it on stream. For now, though, I'm gonna buy ten more super potions. I'm gonna buy four more hyper potions as well. There we go. We really- you really can't, like, if all else fails in the Nuzlocke, just heal stall with your healing items. It's a- it's a bit of a cheese strap, but it does keep you alive. Have you ever battled at the Fennec Coliseum? I have not, you know? Uh, long, not long ago I won a challenge, they gave me a TM. This girl is like 9, by the way. This place is a retirement village for senior citizens. For some reason we see a lot of visiting young trainers. There seems to be a rumour that this village has a secret but sure way of becoming close to their Pokémon. Hmm, well, we need a secret but sure way of becoming close to some Pokémon. Okie doke. Uh, yes, this is a guy. Hello! When I looked your eyes, excitement boiled over in my blood, and I had a heart attack. But now that I'm back from the hospital, can we have a battle? Oh yeah. Fun old man scoff. Now he does have a Machop, which we do need to be a little bit worried about, because we are starting the pseudo widow on the field. But my cunning plan is to take Sue the Widow straight off the field. Um, and swap in something that doesn't die instantly. Do we have to, like, baptize the Shadow Pokemon? It's not quite that bad. Ow. Okay, apparently he doesn't have the good AI. Which is fine. Uh, Nature Power Turn into Stun Spore! Ooh, okay, I didn't expect that, but okay. Let's try and kill this Machop. Because we can take that down. Oh, wow, we can take that down very easily if we crit it. <laughs> Secret power. Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, Meditite. Okay, nature power is fine. But Meditite needs to get off the field as well now. Boop, bye bye. That was a little riskier than I perhaps wanted it to be. 
but it also has the potential to be real bad news. Medatai, you're coming off the field. I'd like to bring Sue the Wither back onto the field, but we have that blimmin' Sea Dot. I mean, Sea Dot's not very strong, but I don't know what moves it will have at level 35. It will probably have Bullet Seed, which is bad news bears. Oh, Jesus, that hurts as well. Okay. This guy, he's, he's fairly tough. You know? What have you got? You've got growth. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yanba might have to come off the field as well. Because we can only really send out Umbreon. I should have focused fire on the Sea Dot, because then I could have got Sweeter Widow and Croconaw out with it feeling less like a risk. They're such bad names. Maybe I will go back and change them to Disfigurize. What do you reckon, gang? What do you reckon, chat? Do you like Dynamo and Tube? Okay, we are gonna have to massively heal up on this because everything's paralyzed. A bunch of things are on half health. Oh, we have paralyzed the seed on as well, though. That's good. I don't think a Swift will kill that Barret, so I'm going to confusion it. Give them whichever name is truly in my heart. Gonna swap you back out. Bring back out to the widow. Oh, actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna bring out Crocodile. Just to spread the XP around as much as possible. Because Espion should kill it pretty good. And get the ding. The thing is, as well, is I'm probably just going to continue referring to them as Espion and Umbreon. Later move to make room for Psybeam. Oh, sweet, Psybeam. That's great, because that's just confusion, but better. That's just a straight upgrade. Ta da! Don't know if I forgot. Confusion and learn Psybeam. Bum bum. Oh yeah, that was a good look. That was! That was that was rough, old man. That was dangerous. However, the Pokemon you use appear to be troubled somehow. They're frighteningly strong, but they're somehow cold. They're keeping their hearts closed tight. Yeah. Yeah. We're working on it. Hello. You finally arrived! You were the friend! That's hardly any of my business, it places your friends carefully! Yeah, that guy doesn't like me. And here we have his partner. It's Egan's beloved Rui! Or was it Rui's beloved Egan? <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go grab a heal. And then we can go see Grandpa! We 
spoken to that lady? I don't think we've spoken to the low tide lady, have we? Actually, I think we got distracted by the lady who and her mighty Anna. They if you're Pokemon with a daycare lady, most people will come back in a much happier state of mind. Oh yes, that's true. That's a that's an option we have for training up Fossil. The only problem is it costs money. Okay, honestly, the names that are in my heart for these two... They're not inventive, they're not imaginative, but they're the closest to what I'm actually going to call them. There we go. And we'll lock that in with a save. Okay, no. Right, first we're going to talk to uh, her granddad's butler, who's this guy. Rui, is that you? Last time I saw you with this tiny little thing. Now look at you. Jesus Christ, old man. Oh, please stop it, Giggle. All right, Rui. All right. All right. Egan was worried about you. Don't waste any time. Don't worry, we've already wasted all of the time that we were going to waste. Da-da-da! Grandpa! Grandma! I missed you. They're called Egan and Baloo. Welcome, welcome. We heard that you were coming, then you didn't arrive. We were worried about you. What held you up? I had just this terrible time. I was abducted by creepy people. I was saved by Dizzy, who happened to be there by coincidence. Thank you so much for saving our granddaughter. Why would anyone want to harm you? I see these bizarre Pokémon. They're shadow Pokémon. They've been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. What on earth is that? Uh-oh. Dramatic music! Hi! Oh, it's Caveman! It's a serious situation, some outsiders went into the Relic Forest. Who were they? They shoved me aside, and that's it. They, all they had to do was sort of push him gently. That's literally it. His only job is to guard that cave, and he got pushed aside slightly. And off Egan goes. Outsiders fouling the Relic Forest. I went for my husband even more so. Go after him. Sometimes I get the feeling like I'm not the main character. When people, like, when Silver does his thing, when people talk to Rui instead of me. It's fine. Uh. Now, where are. Oh. So I'm looking for the next area. There's gonna be trainers. There's trouble. I mean, you can you can all guess who's 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 causing the problems. Uh, we are not gonna want to have Sudowoodo out front, not at all. I think. Oh, this next fight it would have been great to have Flappy for. Oh, I think we're gonna go for Umbreon. And yes, so the cave is now free because the guy got pushed out of the way. And surprise, surprise, there's a Cypher on here. Hi there, she's called... Dovin. Here comes another meddler, that old man earlier. He trampled me when I let down my guards. Do-ba-do, steal. 
and Carvana, you can see why we're not using Pseudo Ludo and why we would have been using Fluffy. But these two will have to do. Now it's super tempting to try and use High Jump Kick here, but I'm not going to. Uh, we're going to take down this guy first. Because taking down the Carvana will be slow, because we don't want to use attacks that make contact. If we can help it. Oh, Surf! Okay. That's... That, that's not so bad. That kind of is so bad. Oh, another Surf! Okay! Okay! Fine! Ow! Jesus, alright, well, Metatite's coming off the field then, straight away. Ah, uh, you, you can see why we didn't send out Sue the Widow. Uh, let's send in Crocodile. Crocodile can tank Surf's like a champion. Now, Umbi should finish off this field. There we go. Luckily, she only has the two Pokemon. Yeah, they, like, one of the reasons why Colosseum is, is quite a difficult game to Nuzlocke is they don't hold back with the movesets of just random trainers. At all. We did this, and I guess we're gonna do this? It's probably better than our other options. Okay, yeah, Secret Power was fine. <laughs> Ow. Bum bum. Ouchies, she says. Why are the villagers here so ridiculously strong? Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go heal. Because I do want to use Metatite again. Actually, having said that... Well, your heart gauge is nearly empty. Uh... Hang on. Is that going to be another opportunity to use you? Uh, not a great one. Okay, we'll use you in this next fight then. Yeah, so we will heal you up. And we'll switch Umbreon out to Espeon. Time is it? It's only half past one. We're doing quite well, actually. Oops. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, thank you. Right. Do do do. Up next, we have another cipher peon. Not going any farther. He's guarding the bridge. See, he's guarding a choke point. The other lassie, she was just sort of stood around. We could have almost sneaked past her. But this guy knows what he's on about. Shroomish and Cacne a double team. Right, Melatite's now uh, fully thingy down. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't know what I just pressed. I definitely didn't press what I wanted to press, which was use confusion on Shroomish. Now I use Calm Mind, oh bother. Whoops! Well, that's not great news. I suppose it means you take less damage from that, which is something. Oh, pin missile again. Oh, that's not good news. Oh! <laughs> 
Ow! 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 Okay. Uh... See, men are tight. Might actually be able to survive another turn on the field. Because, like, that was a crit pin missile that was the problem there. Melatite can definitely kill Shroomish if I click the right button. Could have killed Shroomish already if I clicked the right button. The question is do I risk it? I don't think we do. I think taking risks is bad news, Bears. As a rule. Let's switch in. No, actually. Uh. No, okay, we're gonna. No. Espion, shut up. No, don't. No, Espion, don't shut up. Dizzy, shut up. We're gonna definitely kill the Shroomish. We're gonna switch in Yanma, because although I'd like to use Pseudo Wudo, uh. I'm not risking Cacnea having a grass move. Whereas Yanma should resist basically everything it comes up with. That was a little unfortunate, but it's okay. Okay, more pin missile. That's fine. I was a little worried about the prospect of a pin missile against Espeon. Oh, another critical hit! My god! Uh, I think the two of these should take it out if Cybing does not on its own. There we go, yeah. Okay, another slightly worrying battle. <laughs> yes, I am going to go and heal again after this. Roadblock attempt failed. You tried. You tried harder than the other one. And then we're gonna go back and heal again. And actually, while we're doing that, we're gonna lead with Pseudo Widow. For this next fight. And we are going to heal after this next fight again, almost certainly. Because after this, we have like a little mini boss. Basically. Even though we've only just fought like a major boss, we're now immediately going to go into like a mini boss. Dip. Hello! Surprise! See, she knows what she's doing as well. She's gunning a choke point and she was well hidden. There's suddenly there's no surprise round. Well, I mean, fortunately, there's no surprise rounds. You can see why we chose to use Umbreon here. Question is, who's is the bigger threat? The answer is. Probably Portoy. Actually, I don't know if I can one shot Portoy. I would be able to one shot Routes if it hadn't just grabbed my sturdy ability. No, I could not one shot Portoy. There we go. <sighs> okay, I don't love that. I don't love that. Portoy's dead. And we haven't taken very much damage, which is good. I'm gonna focus fire the Curlia. Oh, I hate it when they, like, just about survive. That's really annoying. 
Okay, you're now at plus two, which is very scary. <laughs> Honestly. Like, even though you're just a Ralt, plus two is pretty scary. Especially as we know we can't one-shot you. Although we came close, even though you're at plus two special defense. <laughs> but okay, Ralph is gone. The widow is mostly fine. Okay, she's shocked apparently. Little boy, you're shockingly strong! Yep. Okay. Now. I'm gonna lead Espion Umbreon for this again, because this is, a, as I say, a little bit of a mini boss. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother healing up Sula Widow. Oh, actually, no, I am cause, because I want to save. Even though, like, we can't save Scum in this, it's a Nuzlocke. But, uh... Oh, should I say that? Technically, safe scumming isn't against the standard set of Nuzlocke rules, but it, it, it's against the rules. Uh, but I'll just feel safer if I save first, you know? Oops, that's not the right button. Right, because we, what we've got coming up next is another encounter, but it's another encounter where the shadow that we're trying to, to snag is pretty rough, like it's pretty tough, it's pretty strong. Psychological safety net of a save, exactly. Uh, he does actually outlevel us, this shadow that we've got coming up. What? How good are we at catching him? Oh, he's he's tough to catch as well, actually. He's not got a, a high catch rate. Okay. This might be a, a bit of a doozy of an encounter. We're gonna see. Boop. Excuse you. Hello. Egan's in a heap of trouble. Egan might be the mythical trainer. He's pushing his luck if he thinks he can battle at his age. There we go, we're gonna watch another person battling. Who are you? What are you doing here? We simply cannot answer that. I can see that you're a senior citizen. I can't allow you to interview with our affairs. Also, this is like a custom uh, Cypher Peon. He's got like a little horn on his head. You're the ones interfering. I'll personally run you out. Someone so old shouldn't overdo it. I'll have you know I was once hailed the most powerful trainer. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got, it's been with me ever since. Yep, that's right. He's the he's the, the mythical trainer, the unbeatable trainer. He's got a Pikachu. Does this remind you of anyone? It's a level 50 Pikachu as well. It's no joke. Apart from one problem. The only move it knows is quick attack. What's hilarious is it's technically possible for Pikachu to win this battle. If it gets insanely lucky and hit one top, gets paralyzed by the static, and then just hits paralysis every turn, Pikachu can win. It's like a one in hundreds or thousands chance, but it can happen. Uh, so yeah, Egan just got warped, basically. Um, Scrub nearly swears at him. Also, this guy's name is Scrub. <laughs> Hi, we're here to help. Cavalry's here. Pikachu's dead. You'll never get away with this. 
Ah, and we have a Scarlet Zoe in the chat again. Hi there, how's it going? It's for the raids. Oh, you're very welcome. It's you're a pleasure to watch. Here's someone who may show me a more enjoyable time. On guard! I don't think Frank the scrub is French. But we're gonna take him on in a in a slightly more full battle. Now he has the why not? And he has a hip on top. So this is a this is a very interesting lead combo from him. Because the hip on top is the Shadow Boy. And why not obviously is why not. Why not can't do anything on its own. I was not expecting this, I must admit. I was not expecting this combo at all. What I want to do is side beam the hit one top, because I don't think it'll one shot. And I think it will. But like if I crit or if he shadow rushes, that will be a problem. Uh, now him leading with Hitmontop is a problem because Hitmontop does know a move that's super effective against Umbreon. And he's got He's got the power to kill with it. So as daft as it seems, I think I'm gonna switch up. Oh no, I can't switch! Because of why not? Oh, that's That's not good. If I put hit on top on 100 health, I have a 1 in 10 chance of just catching it outright. I'm gonna bite the hit on top. I don't think I outspeed him, but if I do outspeed him, I'd like the chance to make him flinch. Oh, that did very little damage. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Okay, a crit bite is great news at this stage. We can we can leave the why not alone. Oh. I'm gonna put up a reflect to try and keep Umbreon alive. Okay, we know we don't outspeed it, so we might as well secret power. I'm very worried about Umbreon's health in this encounter. Triple kick is going to be very dangerous. Okay, focus energy. That's bad news as well, to be honest. Oh, that did not do very much damage at all. Okay. Uh, what health is this guy on? We're about about what about sixteen percent chance to catch per ball. I'm gonna hit it with a return. I'm going to return Secret Power, I think. Oh, maybe... Okay, I'm going to start throwing balls. It's not ideal. But I need to get this hit on top off the field as soon as possible. Okay, that was fine, that was expected. Triple kick. How bad is the damage? Okay. Okay, hit one time, and actually, uh, with Reflect up, it's not so bad. Uh... What I'm going to do is I'm going to taunt the Why Not because all of its moves are... Actually, maybe that's not a good idea. Like, as long as it's not doing stuff... Hmm. I can afford to bite the hit top again. Oh, and we have a new follower! Thank you so much to Soul Gamer for the follow! It's wonderful to have you along for the ride. I hope you're enjoying the stream. 
Oh my god, that's so lucky. We got it really quickly. Oh, that's great news. That's fantastic news. Oh. Oh. That hit on top is scary, man. And doing a bunch of damage to Clampel is not bad either, actually. Hi there. Oh, you, you, you are my lucky star. I think if you want this hit on top, you can absolutely snag this hit on top to be named after you when it gets purified. If you would like that. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Whoa! Awesome, amazing. I'm so glad to have you along for the ride. Uh, are you a, are you a Pokemon Coliseum fan? Do you know much about the game? This because this game was like a significant portion of my childhood. Okay, we have a Geodude on the field. The Geodude's actually not so bad, partly because it's got like no special defense, and partly because it doesn't know self destruct. This is one of the ones where Bulbapedia actually gives me the move set for it. I know it doesn't have self destruct. Uh, so we can take down the Geodude fairly easily, and I'm going to taunt the Why Not, which I think is going to be really funny. You're a fan of every Pokemon game. You, you're even replaying every game at this point. Ah, I applaud you. I am, I am also a fan of Pokemon like a series in general. I actually haven't played every game, which I know, fake fan. That's interesting. Does Taunt not stop you from using Counter and Mirror Coat? That's interesting and concerning. You actually read the rules. <laughs> okay, what's our best chance of one-shotting this Why Not? Espion, what's your attack stat at nowadays? I guess they count as offensive. I guess they do. Hmm. Uh, okay, your attack is about half your special attack. So you probably do more damage with a Psybeam, even though it's not very effective. Because oh, I... Like, we, you really gotta take out the Why Not in one shot if you can. Although... It might be worth setting up a Confuse Ray, like... Just stall for a turn. Set up the Confuse Ray. So that if we manage to, to not kill the Wine Knight in one shot, shot. Yeah, boom, this says confusing. Yeah, good, 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 good shouts. Good shouts. I'm glad we're on the same page. Just stall, make sure the Wine Knight has the least chance of, of doing horrendous damage to us as possible. Because he's, he's setting up, he's using Mirror Coat now pretty consistently. Here we go. Okay, that was alright damage. We might be lucky. Bite obviously also has the flinch chance. Oh, okay, it's dead. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. <laughs> Why not on Wobber Fed that infamous Nuzlocke like Pokemon for, for killing bonds? He should have declined. <laughs> We got him, we got him, gang. And we got the hit on top, and it was actually way less painful than I expected it to be. Oh, also, look at this guy, he's like, I've been instructed to capture Celebi, like it's nothing. <laughs> then destroy the Relic Stone, but matters have not gone according to plan. I have to immediately inform Dakin, who has gone to Mount Battle. Dun 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 dun. You okay? I'm fine, but my partner. Bye. Bigger. It's a bisexual Pikachu. You're safe. Good, good. You battled with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. I'm not sure about that. You still only taught it quick attack. <laughs> it says you heard someone else say wreck face for the first time the other day. Ooh, who was it? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Sometimes it feels like I am. Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. Soul Gamer says I'll also play Hey You Pikachu, which is strange. I I've heard of it. I couldn't tell you what that is off the top of my head. Uh, let's have a look. Hey You Pikachu. Is that the one where it's just like you're just interacting with the Pikachu, and that's the whole game? 
Yeah, a virtual pet Pokemon spin off for the N64. The player is asked to help Professor Oak test the Poke Helper, a device that lets humans communicate with Pokemon. The player is introduced to Wild Pikachu. The player is able to communicate with a 256 word database through the voice recognition unit. Oh, wow! So very early speech to text. That's awesome! The game had a mixed reception from critics, apparently. Ah, huh, that's cool. Uh, you really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. <laughs> couldn't very well let them have their way. No, you couldn't. Did they're out to capture Celebi and destroy the Relic Stone. Might there be a connection between Celebi and Shadow Pokemon? That's no good. We came here because we thought you'd know something. Why? Why would he? Just because he's old. Didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something about the relic stone carved into it. Oh yeah! Just casually! Oh yeah, the stone tablet! Hmm, well, it's probably sort of on the bookshelf next to, you know, our, our copies of, like, Dick Francis and Agatha Christie and stuff, you know. <laughs> Just casually having a stone tablet lying around. Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take some time, so please be patient. While she's looking, you might try gathering more information on Celebi. Go see an old man named Senelor. He lives near the Pokemon down the hill. Senelor is the authority when it comes to Celebi. He's also, also, as the name might suggest, senile. Uh, hello. Yeah, okay, you can really tell the stuff. Go see what your grand is up to. I feel like our time would be much better spent looking for the the tablet. But what do I know? Uh, have we had a heal? We have had a heal. I'm not, oh no, we haven't had a heal. Is that all the damage we took in that fight? We only took 12 damage? Really? Jesus! I had no idea! <laughs> Huh. Well, um, I can't remember who we're fighting next, so I'm not gonna try and like muck around with our party composition. Oh, Egan Spoon, he's over there now. Hi. I've never seen Egan run quite so fast. I would say he could even outrun me. Uh, I think Senelor is this guy. Uh, you want to see my dad? Oh wait, that's not your boyfriend? Never mind. Sorry, I thought the two of you were, you know. Hi! You're Egan's beloved Torchic! <laughs> Who did you say you were? You want to ask me about Celebi? Have no fear! If you get something that important, never! Let me start with the relic in the Relic Forest. According to ancient lore, the relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokémon. If only it worked on me and brought back memories of my youth. Would you like to hear more? Yes. To meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Boot. All one needs to bring Celebi to the Relic Forest. You need to learn how to play the flute. Uh, Celebi will surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokémon. Actually, that's a thing that's never mentioned, is how every Pokémon protagonist is proficient at playing the flute. I feel like that's statistically unlikely. Uh, Celebi will surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokémon. Why does Celebi have this power in particular? Who knows? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, okay, we've just got the same dialogue again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, 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 whatever, 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 whatever. He thinks I'm a one pop. I don't quite know how. May they teach all kids to play the flute, like we all get taught the recorder? Uh, maybe, but... Like, me being taught the recorder never stuck. I still, to this day, cannot put a recorder in my mouth and make any kind of nice, pleasant sound. Hi! You found the small tablet. There's a small tablet that has been passed down to our family over many generations. Examine it. Hmm. 
the picture of a half-eaten apple on the back. There are words carved into it. Their terms and conditions. In Agate's Mystic Relic, Celebi Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. It says no one can put a recorder on the to make a pleasant sound. That is not true. I know plenty of people who can do that. Because recorders and tin whistles and stuff are staples of like folk music and stuff. I know plenty of people who play them really well. I just can't. <laughs> The relic must have some effect on Shadow Pokémon. I'll leave that to for you to determine for yourselves. Uh huh. You got any more? Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Hope the small tablet is useful. Oh, we got an email. Hello. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Rui. Ah, uh, I noticed. You didn't have to tell me. Let's check it out. Oh, can I not leave? Okay, fine. Do, do, do. Email! Emergency! Dizzy, we've got big trouble. I just got word from our people that mount battles under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group as the one Mira B belongs to. We're counting on you. Okay. Sure. This crooks are loose on mount battle now. That's awful. Can't let this go. Dizzy, let's go. Oh, wait. Grandpa, where is mount battle? To the northeast, you can see it in the distance once you leave the village. Do I have to go there now? I think I can go down to the the stone. If we can go down to the stone, it's great news for us. Because we're about to see lots of cool stuff happen. Uh, you know, I also... What happened to the guy whose job used to be defending it? You'd love to meet Egan. He's literally just up the hill from here. Um... Yeah, where'd that guy go? Is he dead now? Oh no, he's still here! Hi! Are you just gonna stand here forever? The Skrix are raiding up battle? They're going after Vanda! I've heard rumors that Vanda has the ability to summon Celebi. Ah, well. And we found a new file! In file C. Read it. Celebi's power. The purification of Shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi appears to have the power to boost the purification process. For Shadow Pokemon encounters the Celebi, it recalls how its heart was before being closed and reverts to its original form. The Relic Stone also appears to have the power to complete the purification process. These factors must be eliminated if our plan is to succeed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ian. Now. I believe. Yes! Okay, so the Relic Stone, when you go and touch it, if it has its glowy green power, it means we can start purifying things, which is excellent news. There's a Pokemon that may open the door to its heart. Ba 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 ba. Says Germans everywhere crying. I I don't think it's it's. Do you think it's supposed to be pronounced like Ein? I never got the impression that he was German, but what do I know? Crocodile opened the door to its heart. Regained the move Rain Dance. Regained a lot of experience points. Grew to level thirty one. Yeah, like Einstein. Oh, you know, that would probably make sense, actually, wouldn't it? Because he is a scientist. Never mind. Level 32. Level 33. Oh, really? Do you only get to level 33? Oh, yeah! Also, you're now evolving! <laughs> Most certainly is pronounced Ian. Well, listen, Boom Boom, unfortunately you're dealing with about 20 years of programming where I've always called him Ian, so uh, it's it, it's Ian forever, I'm afraid. Your crocodile revolted into Fur Alligator! Da 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 da! Uh, 
and obtained a ribbon. Would you like to give a nickname to Peralligator? Yes, we would. Uh, boom, boom. I have a question. Is the K in K9000 capitalized? Yes, okay. Looks like it is. I don't know why I changed the locus. No, it's not! Okay. Nine zero zero zero. Yes. Oh yeah. Ta. Okay. Let's go have a look at our lovely for alligator. He's only level thirty-three. That's not great news. I was hoping it would level up a little bit more than that. We might have to do a little bit of grinding off stream before we fight the next boss. Because uh, everything we're going to fight is going to be, I think, a lot higher than level 33 from now on. Uh, but, do not fear, because Crocodile is not the only one. We are also going to purify Yanma. Even though this is going to get rid of Yanma's only worthwhile move. Who is this auto caps messing with you? Yep. Yes, they are. Ba 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 ba. Yanma opened the door to its heart. We gain the move Detect! Oh, actually, Detect's a really good move in double battles. It's just that Yanma's other moves are really rubbish. Grew to level 34. To level 35. And obtained a ribbon. Would you like to give a nickname? Now, we don't have a nickname lined up for Yanma. Is there anyone in the chat who would love to be a Yanma? At all. If not, I might just go back and find the previous chatter and sneakily name it after them without their knowledge. Because I'm evil like that. You could be a Yanma. Oh, well. Very well then, Cheskor. Uh, actually, before I name this Yanma after you, Cheskor, be aware that I'm probably not going to use Yanma. <laughs> I should I should actually have made that, made that apparent beforehand. <laughs> Do you still want to be a Yanma? You could alternatively be a Meditite. Sure, okie doke. Do do do. Because here's the thing is. Nope, nope, wrong button again. Uh, is that, um. Although Yanma's been like relatively okay up till now, very soon its poor stats are gonna become a problem, become a hindrance, and we just got rid of its only worthwhile offensive move, um, which is a bit of a shame. But also at the same time, we just caught a much stronger Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> like everything's just not in Yanma's favor. Do -do -do. Hooray for Yanma! And I believe we can do Meditite as well. Yes. In an ideal world, Hitmontop would actually be replacing Meditite. Uh, oh, Meditite also learned tech. And gained a bunch of experience. Things once. Ah, did not ding twice. Okay. Would we like to give you a nickname? Yes. Uh, do we have any other chatters who would like to be a Meditite? Because otherwise, this Meditite is going to be nicknamed, like, Flaffy Killer or something. Wolf, because he killed the sheep. Oh, that's a good shout. Um, I was gonna name you go for something like Flaffy Side, but that's rubbish. <laughs> Wolf is a much better name. There we go, Wolf. Ah, Meditite didn't evolve. I don't know what level Meditite evolves at. Alright, well that's great news! We got a bunch of purifications done. 
We got a better Pokemon. Uh, this We didn't die earlier in the stream. This has already been a great stream, a much better stream than I expected. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Let's go into the box. Oops, say... To our Shaskor. The, the, only, the good news about this, Shaskor, is that even if the run fails, you will almost certainly live. <laughs> You're nice and safe right now. Uh, we could even put you in the daycare if we wanted to. Uh, oh, really? Do I have to... Okay, you have to be in my party to take the item off you. Hang on. Invincible. Exactly. Canvas solo run. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that is possible. Like, a level 100 Pokemon can do most things. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Hang on. There we go. Okay. You're the destroyer of worlds. Okay, there we go. Jaskor, if we do lose the run, you can be our backup. <laughs> we will complete the rest of the game using only Yanma. It can't even evolve. <laughs> Because they hadn't invented Yanmega yet. Which is a shame, because I love Yanmega to pieces. Yanmega's great. Uh, I guess we'll drop a heal as well while we're here. And then on to Mount Battle. We're actually... Yanma in the daycare to prepare. Oh, Shesko, would you like to go in the daycare? You're really invincible in the daycare. You've made a lava train. Okay, we'll pop, we'll get you out, pop you in the daycare. We'll see how we'll we'll check in on you regularly and see how swole you get. <laughs> Be able to afford me? No, that's true because I'm going to spend all my money on healing items and balls. Uh, it's fine. Oh, Hypnotop comes with a black belt. That's great news. Right. Hello. I'm the daycare lady. Have you a Pokemon you'd like me to raise? Yes. Shaskor, training montage. Oh, my precious Shaskor. You hear that, Shaskor? You're precious to me. You're, like, officially precious. Uh, right, I guess that means we're off to Mount Battle next. The train is bringing lava from your industrial district to the farm area for a restaurant to power a steam engine there. Ooh! Oh, are you playing um, with Create Modern stuff in Minecraft? Ooh! Aw, you're now immortalized in quote form as well, Shaskor. Aw, look at you. Look at that cute little face! Aw. <laughs> uh, okay, look. Where do I find out what the trainers here have? Because it's not immediately obvious. Uh, oh, okay, fantastic. There's a separate page for each bit. You'll note the quote number down. <laughs> Quote number 84. So long as it becomes more used than quote 25, I'll be happy. Uh, let's see, who have we got up first? <laughs> oh, boom boom, why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Ah, uh, sigh. Alright, Mount Battle. We've not been yet. But, uh, this- Mount Battle is a really important place because it's, like, the grinding spot in War. 
And there's the mountain itself. I love these little sweeping intro bits you get to each area. I think they're great. Especially because they modelled all of that just for that one shot. And it's never going to appear again. Terrible. I tell you, it's terrible. Mount Butler's under attack. It's out of breath. She's just panically running around. <laughs> Thinking about taking that battle challenge? Forget about it! I'll keep clear of that place for now. A him on battle's been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. Hi! I mean, it doesn't look very taken over, does it? Uh, oh, yeah, it is It is Create Shasko's using. Apparently the train can't find the way. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not brave enough to have tried using trains in Create Mod yet, so... A bunch of creepy-looking trainers came, so they're attacking other trainers without any warning. Look when they had weren't normal, anyway you look at them. Now after Vanda, who's an area leader. I'd go help, but the best I've ever managed is eight consecutive wins. That's not very good. You will find that out. I mean, uh, you guys have seen me do the, the, the battle modes, uh, Mount Battle Challenge, where I got 60 wins in, albeit using a horrendously overpowered team. Uh, but yeah, 8 wins, not great. Remember what the eight the first 8 trainers were like? They were not strong trainers. It's a distinguished place of training for honourable trainers. What is the meaning of this outrage? Those attackers, how dare they attack others without any regard for the rules? They're failures as trainers! Somehow I suspect that doesn't bother them. I'm the move deleter! Oh, hello! I can make Pokemon forget their moves. No. Not tremendously useful in Colosseum. This is the coupon exchange, right now everything is suspended. Hi lady! I can't let you in, it's full of thugs, it's dangerous. You heard about us from Duking. You must be here to save us! I totally can let you in! It's me who contacted Duking for help. I don't know why, he spent the last like five years of his life doing nothing, sitting on his hands while his town gets taken over by a guy with more hair than head. Please be careful, the power of the Pokemon isn't normal. Noted. You know, actually, I've put... I put Sudowood up front. Sudowood's actually probably not a good choice to be up front in this particular upcoming fight. So we're going to put you away. Hello! Hold on, aren't you mistaking something? All training's been put on hold. Really must? Sure, I'll battle you. I've just realised, these trainers have... Uh, the same way all of Mira B's underlings had quite thematic parties with lots of, like, low tads and stuff, these guys have a lot of ground types and rock types coming up. Now we have K9000, your first appearance as a Feraligator. Are you excited? Uh, alright. Oh, you have Hypercutter, not uh, area, Arena Trap. That's good news. Surf should do most of the damage. We'll have a Shadow Rush just to make sure Trap Edge dies. Dang, that hit on top is strong. <laughs> right, Splish! Splash. Wonderful. Two kills down. Oh, I love that cake to bounce emote. That's great. That's adorable. I love that. <laughs> Alright, well, you're two kills in straight away, Boom Boom. Pretty good going. Bonk. Can we make it three for three? In fact, actually, honestly, Boom Boom, Feraligator is probably going to carry us through like this entire area, looking ahead at some of the fights we've got coming up. <laughs> Feraligator is going to be a hard carry. You don't need any training. Well, you say that, I have a level 13 plus in the bank. 
Master Dakin will reprimand me. Oh, the, this Dakin person again. Uh, I don't know why I'm checking my Pokemon list because we're using the exact same team for the next two fights at least. Hi there! Hero took a fall, did he? No, actually, I've decided to stop pushing people off of these platforms to their death. Just think of it as there being more time for me to enjoy. No, hang on, more for me to enjoy. There we go. This is Hunter Drovic. I've helped Swinub and Voltoy. Having a hit Intimidate as well is so useful. Uh, who's most likely to survive? Probably Boltoy? I don't really know. Big sploosh. Okay, Swinub's dead. I hope you're keeping track of your kill tally, Boom Boom. Because, like, it's currently at 5, but I will soon forget. <laughs> and Larvitar. Uh, we probably can, actually, at this point, send out Sudowoodo to get some of that heart gauge down. Because Lavithar probably won't know any strong ground attacks. Splish! Lavithar, you're a little angry by- I love Lavithar. Lavithar is so great. I feel like there's a ROM hack that I've seen some footage of. I've never played any of the ROM hacks, but uh, there's a ROM hack I've seen some footage of where you have a Lavithar as your starter. And that's just, like, I know they're really rough to train, because they need loads of experience and... Tyranitar needs a really high level to evolve, but like, I would I would love a Lavatar as a starter. I'm gonna get reprimanded too. Oh, well, sucks to be you, I guess. Anyway, it's gonna be sort of more of the same here. What's going on? Both Tira and Drovic went down. That's weak. I'm not going down easily. I'm pretty sure you're going to lose to two surf attacks again. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Kibbit. Although, at level 37 Sancho is actually nothing to sneer at. Like, these guys are getting quite high level now. I I'm out leveled fairly significantly. But I have better Pokemon. They have high level Pokemon, I have better Pokemon. That's the trade off. Actually, Hitmontop is now level, technically. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sanshu down, Geodude should go down. Yep. This says Crystal Clear is an open world one that lets you start in any town in Johto or Kanto. Lets you pick your starter and your character sprite and all sorts. Ooh! Exciting. Now, as I say, I've never played the Pokemon Rob Hack. I feel like at the very least, I should play like one from Black and White 2 and one from Sun Moon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon before I start delving into the world of Rob Hacks, because like I've not even played all of the actual Pokemon games. But I'm quite excited by the possibility of delving into Rom Hacks on stream, maybe. They're gonna be hard as nails though, I know that. I'm pretty sure this is your ninth straight kill, Boom Boom. <laughs> not all of them are tough as nails? Okay, that's not so bad. But I know the one I saw with the Lavatar starter was tough as nails. Actually, I say Lavatar starter. I was thinking Swishy might have actually played as the Lavatar at one point. I could be imagining that, though. 
Just today? I'll back obviously. Yeah, just today. You know. How's it on top doing for hell? You're probably fine for hell. Okay, we're gonna go for the double shadow lead here. There's like maybe something concerning come up coming up with this guy's party, but it'll probably be fine. Says lots of them are basically story mods. E.g., I played one that was red slash blue, but as a member of Team Rocket. That sounds cool. Do you still lose, like as a member of Team Rocket? Do you do you still canonically lose, or do you succeed? Uh, if I like them to food, they'd only be hors d'oeuvres. The real battling begins now. Boy, well, uh, his team isn't particularly better than any of the previous ones. It's got a little bit more type diversity. Fine Cobalt Eye is fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, do we still only have Shadow Rush on both of them? That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I guess we're double shadow rushing Pineco. Who says the cannon stuff happens? That's this whole big conspiracy thing. Okay. Oh, both of use dig. That's not good news. That's also not good news. That's also also not good news. Okay, that actually is was kind of fine. Sudo would maybe is tanky enough for this. Okay. That did like nothing to your bar. God. Oh, I'm worried about that Pineco. I'm really worried about that Pineco. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Okay, okay, okay! Oh. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. I thought Sudo Wido would have had access to a rock type attack. No, it got blocked. Oh god, okay. Right, uh, so the way that you're coming back. I really hope we can kill this Pineco, because I'm really worried about it blowing up. I'm really worried about it blowing up. Okay, it's fine, we got it, we got it, we got it, it's dead. It can't blow up when it's dead. The immutable lore of Pokemon, they can't blow up when they're dead. Houndor should be fine. Volto should be fine. Okay, Volto's underground, that's slightly annoying. Uh I guess we're gonna shadow rush the Houndor. Based on the lack of other options. Oh, maybe I should have switched him on top out actually. Oh, sweet, we killed Houndor. That's great news. I definitely should have switched him on top out though. Uh, but yeah, Gravelor's out. Gravelor's what I was worried about exploding. Um, but Surf will one-shot it. I I didn't think Pineco would live as long as it did. I thought Pineco would be a turn one kill from two Shadow Rushes. Well, actually I thought it would be a turn one kill from a Shadow Rush and a Rock Slide. Uh, okay, yeah, hit one top, you need to come back now. Who are we gonna send out? Let's send out Wolf. Wolf needs some experience. Right, it's a big sploosh. Wolf is dead. Player defeated, Rider Raiden! Please, no. <laughs> oh god. The real battles begin after me! Quick change of heart there. Right, we gotta go back and heal.
Uh, we've got about half an hour left. I I think my plan is to get up to, or as close as we can, to uh, the, the boss of this area, who is the next admin. This guy Dakin we've heard talked about. But I'm not planning to take him on today, if nothing else, because I know I'm going to need some serious off-screen grinding <laughs> before we're ready for that. Uh, ba -ba -ba, thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Drop a save as well. Oh. Uh, okay, we're hanging through the window back out. Because we don't want you at the front for what we've got to fight. And Boom Boom will still be a hard carry for this next fight. After this, we've got someone who's got some like slightly different Pokemon, which is exciting. Oh, I thought else. I'm really hungry. Okay, here we have the next person, Hunter Tellier. Apparently, you've come a long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves. How do you know where I live? I don't even know where I live! How do you know where I live? Prepare for a thrashing, I never miss targets. Interesting. Are you gonna use like lock on? Oh god, lock on Fisher would be a horrible combination for your team to have. Oh you're starting with Lily, okay. Lily was the one I was hoping not to get. Obviously, considering I'm using a water type. Uh Intimidate is fine, but not vital here. Uh, we're gonna use Surf, we're gonna try and knack the Lilip as much as possible. Lilip's not an offensive threat too much, but uh, it will tank a Surf, I reckon, on that much HP. Trapinch is live. Yeah, wow, look at how little that did! Okay, Sandstorm is fine. Sandstorm's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Sandstorm! Does she have the good AI? Or did she just get unlucky? Hmm, interesting. Uh, we're gonna desperately try and kill this Lily, because oh my god. <laughs> You also notice this Lilip is another Pokemon that comes up a lot in this game. Like, you almost never see Lilip in most Pokemon games, or any fossil. But uh, it's one of the ones they really like in this game. And there's so many Trapinches that you'd really expect it to be like another Lotad Ludicolo situation where Dakim's gonna have a Flygon. I'm not going to spoil whether he does have a Flygon or not, but like, damn, is there a lot of the Trapinch line amongst his, uh, amongst his... Look, another Trapinch! He already had one Trapinch! This is second Trapinch! Uh, how much damage did that Barbage take? Okay, the Barbage is on half, so we should be fine to focus on the Trapinch and then kill them both. Oh, sweet! We just killed the trapping straight up! I've now officially lost track of how many Pokemon Boo Boo is killed, by the way. Bum, bum, bum. Player defeated Hunter Telia! Awesome source. Right, so next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. Oh, okay. Oh, shuffle before your wet face! <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, we des Oh, no. We definitely want Umbreon for this next fight. Um. Given our composition, given that Wolf's best move is currently High Jump Kick, which is very dangerous, I think we're going to go for Espeon Umbreon. Oh, 
like, high jump kick would be useful, but considering how little of a beating Metatite can afford to take at the best of times... Oh, we have to watch your performance. Okay. Is it going to be like a dramatic reenactment or something? Saint Performer Noughts. Uh huh. We've got a Cacnea and a Spinder. I love Spinder. I love Spinder not because it's good, because it isn't. I love Spinder because it has the particularly stupid and unnecessary, like, 8,000 patterns thing. Who do I think is. Oh, Cacnea is definitely the bigger threat, actually, never mind. I was like, who's the bigger threat? Well, it's Cacnea, it's got Pin Missile. <laughs> Oh, sweet, we killed it in one. That's excellent news because that means that our bite is now going to hit the next Pokemon to come out. Which is. Kadabra, who we definitely don't want lying around on the field because it's strong. It's not very good against either of our two that we have out, which is why we have these two out. But uh, it's still strong. Oh, you have Psybeam! Okay! Fair, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm actually going to use Return to kill the Kadabra, because Espeon might outspeed it. Yes, there we go. Whereas I'm fairly sure Umbreon wouldn't outspeed it. Bye-bye. Bonk. Doodly-doo. Alright, we've got a level 37 Umbreon. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't have hit one top out, considering that Spinder does no side beam. But we can probably afford to send out Sudo. Trying to get that sweet, sweet heart gauge down. Zap! Spin the dead. Bum, 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 bum. All right, Saint Patoma Noughts, Yeah, we wrecked you. Nobody would pay to see my show. Oh, Pat. I mean, presumably you're being paid by Dakin to be here, right? Right? You wouldn't just be here of your own volition for no gain, would you? Uh, we're gonna go back to the hit on top. Boom Boom Meta for this next fight. Hello! All six were defeated! What were those incompetents doing? I like how they have no respect for their, like, the other members of their team. None at all. It says labor laws have always been pretty lax in Pokemon. <laughs> Hunter Weeg! Hello, Hunter Weeg. With a brother and a graveler. Fine. Very fine. Intimidate is great. God, we focused on that Vibrava for ages after it got intimidated. Uh, we're going to share the rest of Vibrava because it isn't weak to surf. Boop. Should probably die now. Might outspeed. No, it doesn't outspeed. That's nice. Right. Splish the bug. Yeah, another trap inch line, right? You know, if you're keeping track. And Graveler. Not too difficult. Doodly doo. You dinged again, boom boom. We have a sand slash to finish off with. Oop. Spin, bonk. Oh, that did not do very much damage. Blimey. You'll have a good thing here. <laughs> uh, we might want to tag hit on top out. Oh no, okay, it's fine. Sand slash went down. 
Surf is a very powerful move. I defeated Weak! You put an end to me! <laughs> we got really quite trivial amounts of money at this stage, but it's okay. You made me lose! They're not gonna hire me again after this! They are getting paid! See? Okay, let's go heal. Let's really go heal. Sorry if you didn't come here for me to sing along to the music, but uh, it's it's too good and too deeply ingrained in my brain for me to not. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all getting paid. <laughs> Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, give me heals while I figure out who I want to lead with for this next one, because I'm actually not sure. Hmm. Annoyingly, it's another one where, like, Melotite would be good if it had any other powerful fighting type attack. <sighs> uh, I think I probably want to go with. Boom Boom Umbreon? I got this pokies. <laughs> it is crazy how close together these admins are that, like, I could very nearly do two admins in one stream. There will be another point, I think, where I could nearly do two admins in one stream. Right, do do do. Pass number six. Past Wig at number seven. We're up to number eight. And if you watch my birthday stream, you'll know there's obviously ten slots in an area, so we've got two more before the big bad. I guess we're all a little guilty of underestimating you. You've earned some respect. Make you regret ever having come here. You can also tell we're getting to the end because we're fighting actual Cypher peons now instead of just like random schmucks. Right, okay. Hound or Duskull. Very fine, very fine. Hang on, wrong one. You're the one who's supposed to be using Bite. You're supposed to be using Bite. There we go. If we're extra lucky, we'll kill this Duskull in one. Ah, oh, we were not quite extra lucky. Splish! Bye bye, Handle. Bye bye Duskull, there's two more for your kill, Tally Boom Boom! And your leveling is coming on quite nicely, you've got up two levels in the last, like, eight fights. And now we have Coughing! Coughing is obviously dangerous, will need to be taken out, ideally, straight away. Actually faster than Umbreon, and Umbreon's quick for this prop. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, both down to half health. Nom. Okay. Oh, we got a crit. Excellent. Coughing's down. No dangers of explosions. Get some juicy, juicy XP. Willow Wisp. Uh huh. Well, you've been burnt. Maybe, may maybe we, maybe we need to. In order to secure this burn, we need to go and put you on the stove. Uh, we're gonna send out Sue the Widow to get the heart gauge down, because Umbreon will be more than capable of finishing off this Curlia. Do do. -do. Noms. Bye bye. Bum, 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 
パンパンパンパンパンリセットゾーン<笑> Thank you for adding that as a quote, Bim Bim. I'm gonna have a quick drinkies. You shouldn't have battled me in the first place. Uh, right. Who have we got next? Uh, you know what? Although you are burnt, we're gonna leave you out front because I'm not an. Anticipating you taking too much damage in this next fight. Cypher Peon Beren. <laughs> Doing other ones on stream. Oh no. I can't, I don't even know what that was. Oh, was that um What was that? Was that Bionicle that we were playing? It was back in June. June is Pride Month, so probably we were playing Bionicle. Oh dear. You don't want to get here, there is no next battle for you. I'll destroy you thoroughly, he says. <clears throat> so tell Geodude and Geodude. Now you can see why I wasn't uh, much thinking there was a risk of you taking much damage in this fight. I also admit, I don't. I know Burn does lower a Pokemon's attack, but I've never really understood why a Burn specifically lowers your attack. You know? <laughs> I feel like that's a move you pull out semi often, Boom Boom. <laughs> right, two more kills for the tally. Splish. And we need Splash. Boop. Boop. Diddly dung. Have a lovely ding. And Sand Slash. A stronger Sand Slash than before. And you go Owies a little bit. The Sand Slash should go down fairly fine. Does not get hurt by Shadow Rush like at all. That's crazy tough, physically. Not so much to surf. Bum 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 bum. All right, and that is Baron. That is the last Cipher Peon we're going to fight for today. We've got nine minutes left, which is like an awkward amount of time because it's not really long enough to do any things. Don't get a swelled head just because you beat me. Master Dakin will deflate your pride real quick. You can see Master Dakin there in the background. Like, that is a lot of person. He is huge. <laughs> he is enormous. His loincloth is as tall as I am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's a little teaser for what will be coming your way next time. Uh, I am going to end the stream here uh, with, you know, the, the, the tantalizing stay tuned thing of, oh, we're going to fight another big scary admin and probably use some more Pokemon. Uh, Dakim's battle is going to be really rough as well. Like, Mirabee's wasn't as rough as I expected. Dakim's is going to be rough. I can promise you that. Uh, but don't go anywhere because in a second I'm going to check just how many of you that are with me and we're going to go away on a wee little raid, as I like to do. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the stream. I hope you, those of you who have Pokemon now with your name uh, tagged after you. Uh, I hope that you, you appreciate them and cheer for them. Uh, and let's all pray that they don't die. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum will be back sometime next week. Uh, for the rest of this week, there will probably be a Hunter Call of the Wild stream on tomorrow evening. And on Friday, I'll either be doing some more puzzle game demos, or I'll be going back to the Sigmar's Garden grind in Opus Magnum, one of the two. Uh, let me see, what are, who's online? Who's playing what? Uh... Oh, we're gonna go and raid Visty, because Visty is doing their uh, Twitch anniversary, so I want to stop by and say hi. Do -do. 
Uh, if you don't know Visty, they mod for a few uh, bigger streamers. I watch them from time to time. They're really awesome. Go and say hi. They're lovely. Uh, I, as I said, will be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock British time with some probably the Hunter, but not def definitely the Hunter, just probably the Hunter. Uh, you can also find me on my social medias, uh, Twitter at this with the mice, Mastodon at eldritch.cafe slash at this with the mice. You can check out my YouTube channel if you want to see all of my previous Pokemon Coliseum content and other Pokemon stuff I've done, like playing Pokemon X. Uh, for the first time, I did that all on stream. If you're on my YouTube channel, then check out my Twitch channel at uh, twitch.tv slash demise so you can see these as they happen live. Make sure also to drop a like, consider subscribing. Oh, and that reminds me, I must say a big thank you to my new follower for today. Uh, scroll up to find their username. Uh, Soul Gamer, thank you so much for stopping by. As well as to Boom Boom and Chescor and Skylord Zoe and everyone for being around in the chat. It's always lovely to see you wonderful people around. My name has been Dizzy. Enjoy your raid, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!